we'll, no. we'll go that is not again. Good. Bob has There's it. nothing <laughs> to accentuate the passing of time. Look at this. Quite <laughs> like freezing. Look how young we look. Yeah. Yes, I'm but, constantly you know, we fighting thought we with had the world. Yeah. Three friends. And we did. And we, and we did. did. Immersed in old photos from their college days. Yeah. This was freshman year, wasn't it? And wondering just what it was <laughs> that knitted their lives together. One well, least likely to succeed. Look how that I don't even know what drew us to one another. I didn't know you told her that. Except lots of laughing and silliness. We did love to have a good time. <laughs> and that. That laughter. Oh, my goodness. It's why all of us started at one college, but none of us ended up there. None of us finished there. <laughs> they met at Mary Washington College in Fredericksburg, Virginia, and trimmed each other's hair when it was time to get ready for the dance, fixed each other's earrings when it was time to put on the white dress. We just always had fun, and it was those type of girls that you have at one point in your life that you know are going to be lifelong friends because whenever you get together... It's like no time has passed. Yeah, Jean Marie and Becky, um, I mean, we've been through everything together. Certainly all the good stuff, the weddings, the babies, the occasional trips to see each other. But life has a way of letting us know we're not always in charge. For Kim, that happened a couple of years ago. It was really a fluke. I had had, it had just sort of been hurting. Mm -hmm. And I was watching TV and I, I did like this to, and, and I felt the lump when I crossed my arms. It was a fluke. But she wasn't sure it was a problem until the lady who cleans her house left a note. There's her latest scripture that she's left on my, on my bathroom counter. And it says, the Lord will perfect that which concerneth me, Psalm 138.8. And I got the results the next day. So I knew already. To break the news. She called. And um, it, was, it was really hard to hear because having lost a sister to breast cancer. The hardest part, I think, is just seeing the fear in everybody else's eyes. You wish you could take it away from them, even though you can't. Indeed, it was Kim who seemed the least faced. I have a choice every day to wake up and be happy and find the good in the day or to cry and feel sorry for myself and be miserable. And I choose to be happy. She was the one that was writing us and, and boosting us up. February 4th. Hi, all. Welcome to my new mailing list, BC Update breast cancer update. Kim's emails. So I wanted to let you all know that the MRI were away for her friends, but I won't know the results to come along for the ride. Just another click heading to the top of the big drop of the roller coaster. For me, I was counting them off. One down. It's that treacherous click, click, click. Two down, halfway there. Three down, only one to go. Click to the top that nearly drives you crazy with anticipation. No click was more difficult than chemotherapy. And when I'm at four down and they say you may need more, I said I can't. I can't do any more. But Jean Marie and Becky figured they had to do more, do something other than write. I started my hair about right here. So Becky called. And she said, Jean Marie, what do you think about growing our hair for locks of love? And I didn't hesitate a moment. That was nearly two years ago. My hair grows so slowly. But the hair has gone from chin to mid back. It, they need eight to 10 inches. <laughs> So it's time to hit the salon, pour a glass of wine, it's a lot of cutting. and let the flowing locks fall. Ponytail. They couldn't grow their hair quickly enough I have a little bit over that. to help Kim. It kind of breaks your heart and makes your heart warm all at the same time. Oh, that's cute. Dr. Hofer said my lymph nodes looked really good. Oh, there you go. Funny, huh? Kim's more recent emails speak of her disease in full remission. Who has ever cared how their lymph nodes looked? And Kim can laugh more easily about whether she was a victim or a hero. You know, one out of every eight women women, and it might even be smaller than that now, will have breast cancer. So I counted off eight of my friends, and I just wanted them to know I've got their backs. <laughs> While her friends complete with new dues. That's exactly what I wanted. And her faith in God had Kim's back. God gives you what you need when you need it. He just does. <laughs>